Michigan. It's Penn State and the Whites. Michigan and the All Blues. We're set to go here from Panzer Stadium. And it's underway. It's a clean win for Baldwin. He springs it free. Baldwin off to trainer, steps into one, and scores. Six seconds into it. Unbelievable start, man. Unbelievable start. Colby Baldwin is the more athletic of the two face-offs. But his first career goal against Maryland back on the 23rd of March. Cohen. Penn State has gone into a zone by the looks of it. is going to run through this attacking group of Bain, Cohen, and Tiernan. Tiernan, Cohen finds some space, and the bouncer goes to knot it up at one. And it starts with a miscommunication with Alex Ross and Kyle Aldridge, who you can see communicating right now after that play. Just easy chance for Cohen to roll top side there and just fire a bouncer. High bouncers go. We know that. We see it every single time teams play here. Watch the replay again. Aldridge tries to hand that off to Ross because they're in the zone set after being extended out there. Issue was those guys were injured off and on at different times in the years they spent together at Princeton, but just two of the top guys this year in the PLL draft. They're just excellent players, similar to another Princeton graduate, Zach Currier, who hurt over the last few weeks. Luke Wallstrom has also seen time there. Wallstrom, now with the ball, is starting on this first line midfield. Give and go with Jake Morin. It's back down low and X with TJ Malone. He has Jack Whitney on him. Malone inside Lehman. Oh, that's pretty. Unbelievable. And that's, you know, Grant Amon walked TJ Malone out for his second senior day of his career. And TJ Malone's the understudy of Grant Amon. Graduated the Amon School of Passing. We saw a slick little feed inside there to Lehman, who goes low to low, beating Hunter Taylor. Hunter Taylor struggles down low with those kinds of shots, and I mean, that's just gonna be nine out of 10 goalies, whoever's standing in the cage. That's a hard one to track. He comes out so quick off of a slick feed. Penn State 2-1 lead. Here's the replay again. Malone slips it right by. Rowan Clay loses lane in there. Freshman on freshman. Long and Luke Mercer with him. Donnelly sets a screen, two-man game with Malone. Has the short stick on him in Ennis. Malone doubled. Dishes off to Long. Long cutting in, trying to go backhand. Takes major contact and ends up in the crease. And it will be Michigan possession. Not only did it look like Ethan Long was going to. Ryan O'Connor was out there, Kyle Aldridge too. While Aldridge played offensive midfield as a freshman here at Penn State, he's become a defensive midi. And it's back to that first line midfield. Lehman. Nice move, cuts inside. Kyle Lehman's got another. That split dodge had his defender absolutely lost. What has TJ Malone told us all year? Kyle Lehman is ultra athletic. He is super silky behind the cage. He's an ex-attackman. He's learning from TJ Malone. Watch the split dodge once again. From down low, splits out free, gets underneath, and low to high there, rips. On the field has Isaac Aronson with him. Stevenson has stayed out on the field from that wing position. He has that two-way ability that Connery likes. Cohen working against John King. Blows a tire, stays with it. Drops it to Stevenson. Shot goes wide. Good backup by Alex Ross. And Penn State has possession. That's just IQ right there. That's him playing the number one cover role, being on X attack cage, and it bounces high. Brendan Leary now into the game. He draws the matchup against Justin Brown. Nice feed out in front, but it skips high. Tracked down by Cohen. Penn State scrambling. Bame right along the crease. But the shot between those guys. A lot of muscle, a lot of gym reps put in in the weight room. Those guys are thick boys. Trainer gives it back to Mercer. Mercer with a jump shot, blocked on its way through. He's made some runs at LSM since Jack Posey, Kevin Parnham have gotten healthy. 
haven't seen Posey today, but it's been a lot of Parnum. Here he is. It's exactly why he got the start today. Good defense against Cohen. Aldridge trying to pick it up. Parnum springs it free, but it's scooped up by Ron for a minute to go. Malone loses the handle. Loose ball. Taylor bullying his way through and picks up the ground ball. It's great defense there. And I mean, Michigan just playing physical. They're making it hard for Penn State to run the two-man game that they like to run from all over the field. Cohen stays with Michigan. It was Ross and Bame laying out. There's 10.6 to go here in this first quarter. Bame on Ross. What a matchup's this been. Bame getting free and sticks it beneath the bar. You have to help right there if you're Brett McVicker. You have to get in the lane of Mikey Bame because he's too quick. He's very, very fast, and we saw it right here. Here's a replay again. If you're Mick Vicker there, instead of standing behind Morgan, who's setting the pitch. State defense, they've won races, they've four shot clock violations, and a strong clear is Grant Haas. Has that two-way ability. TJ Malone on the near side, his hands spread out, telling his team, hey, let's slow this down. Let's get our guys out. First midfield group with Luke Wallstrom, Matt Costin, Jake Moore, and Lehman trying to find space up top. Costin thought about it, dives inside, and bounces it into the top shelf. Oh, baby, what a face dodge that was. Matt Costin looking like Kevin Winkoff from a year ago, a little pitch into a face dodge, got his hands free working inside, but the split dodge from Kyle Lehman got things started. Once again, you see that face dodge here from Dawson. He can build great rosters. It's just going to make the tournament really fun, but being in that three or four, four hole, if you're not one or two, is important because you get a home game in the tournament to start things off. What a dodge by Ronda. Was able to split away from Aldridge, but Frassian, another big stop there. Sweeney loses his twig. Chance in transition. Stevenson. That was a clean look for Stevenson. He just couldn't pin the corner. Ronda goes to X, working against Hawes. Spins inside, Ronda, what a move and what a finish. Christian Ronda with his 13th of the season. Much needed goal, exactly what you wanted if you're Kevin Connery coming out of a timeout. Yeah, and Christian Ronda, another one of the Princeton transfers as we watch this replay again, working on Grant Hawes, just swims his way through, dives across the crease, puts that one in the back of the cage before he it was a, a new king come the fall earlier this year when they saw him for the first time after the long summer. He was working out with his old high school football coach, the weight coach there. Malone gets a screen, Taylor makes the stop. Donnelly racing for it, scoops it up. Atmosphere in the locker room and treats every single player the same way, no matter whether they're starting every game like TJ Malone or if they're just learning as a freshman, learning how they need to be as a collegiate athlete and student. Morin working against Bo Pedersen. Goes to X with Malone, has the short stick Ennis on him. Jump shot goes for Malone. Penn State taking the book out of Connery's book for Michigan, calling the timeout, setting up that play you want. And it's TJ Malone against the short stick. And we've seen it year day in and day out this season. When TJ Malone's got a short stick on him, you don't want to do that if you're Michigan. It's automatic, and you see it here. Just a bad switch there from Whitney. Switched on the Wallstrom. Malone. Malone's 24th of the season. Second point today, had an assist earlier. Wallstrom now goes to X, working that invert. Bumped off by Ennis. Keeps coming, keeps wrapping. Resets with Morin. Nice feed to Cutting Malone. Oh, what a pass from Jake Morin right on the doorstep to Malone. 
That's an unbelievable feed. There's no way around it. Jake Warren just finds TJ Malone, just had just an inch of space there, puts the ball right into his cross, and Malone makes no mistake, puts it in the back of the net, and Malone's talked about it all here. One of his favorite guys to play with is Jake Warren, because they know where they know. He's got 41 goals on the season. He doesn't have one yet today. You've got to give him a good look to get his game activated. Cohen running, bouncer, waved off. Legal screen again, called against Michigan. Nice find from Costin underneath to Sweeney. And he's able to find trainer Cahal Roberts racing down on him. Anytime Michigan turns the ball over, if you're Penn State, you've got to clear quick because you don't want them to set up the 10 man. That's what's been causing some trouble for the Nittany Lions all day in the clearing game. And it's a good job right there by Costin and Sweeney to get that ball cleared. Long gives it to Malone at X. He's had success there today, working against Jack Whitney. Gets a step up top, Trainer. Another one. Malone. And trainer all season long, and the two combined to make it a 7 3 Penn State lead. And what makes that possible is Matt Trainer's ability to mirror TJ Malone when he attacked from X. He watched where TJ Malone th was throughout the entire course of this play. Mears gets himself open, pops free, bang. Corner picked. Other just clean. The exact offensive production that Jeff Tambroni was hoping for after a tough weekend in Baltimore against Hopkins last week. Just eight goals overall for Penn State. They have seven here in the first half. Good screen there from Bame, and it's Morgan scoring. The flag came in late. I think it's gonna go against Penn State for running over Mikey Bame in that screen. Yeah, looked like that signal, an extension of the arms, maybe a cross check, some, something up high on Bame there, didn't quite see it, but great job by Morgan to use that screen effectively, work his way around the cage. He got up over GLE, extended himself, just fires, picks that far corner. It's nearly impossible to save as a goalie because there are so many places as a righty Morgan can shoot. He puts it right by Frassian, who did a great job of taking away that near side. Box side's always dangerous. It's Cardinal Sin. Cardinal Sin triple team goes underhand to Skip it to the near side, finding Grant Hawes all alone. Lehman from X, wrapping against Whitney. Nice job by Whitney, de-twigging Kyle Lehman. Two minutes to go, 40 to shoot for Penn State. Trainer, back to Morin. Feet out in front, Malone, bingo. Second time today that Morin and Malone have connected and it's a hat trick for TJ Malone in the first half. They know where each other are, Matt. It's as simple as that. They've played so much lacrosse together from just growing up in the Philly area, playing as friends in the summer, all kinds of stuff. But once again, Malone just working his way through, through the defense, finds a soft hole after Mesh. Wallstrom into the two-man game. Wallstrom, quick first step. Dancing his way around, loses the ball. Great slide there. Great slide there from the Michigan defense. Causes the turnover, and here they go. They run and gun in transition. McCurry, he's got. Michigan starts with possession here. It's because they held it at the end of the quarter to close down the second, or to close down the first half. My apologies. When you have the man up, if you hold on to possession, you don't have to face off. So a smart play by Michigan. You don't see it very often, but here is this man up. It, it really. It initiates through Bame, Lockwood, and Tiernan. Here is Tiernan. Oh, Jack Frassian stays dialed with an unbelievable save going low to high against Tiernan. I apologize. Cahal Roberts and Mason Whitney. Morin doubled. Able to get around Van Wees at X up top. Lehman, time, room, bullseye. Kyle Lehman, he's got a hat trick. It's 9-4 Penn State. Made by Frassi and rebound comes out to Brown. Working against John King. Still has that short stick on him, Brown. He's got all that speed, he's been able to run around short sticks, he does it again here. Goes on an odd angle, 
I think that one might have caught the post. But there is going to be no backup for Michigan. There are four Nittany Lions all laying out to win possession back. Ronda rolling against Leary. Leary staying in front of him. Bame against Ross. It's been a good matchup all day. Cohen finds Tiernan. He's on the board. It's been a long time coming here for Justin Tiernan. There he gets his hands free. The slide against Penn State. Cohen recognizes it. Gets it to its top goal scorer. And it was just a great low to low shot there. They worked the clock for spinning the ball real well. And once Tiernan has just the slightest window to pull a shot right here, you see it, he's picking a corner. He wants to shoot the ball at high. Penn State just waiting for its moment here, under 30 to shoot. Malone inside Costin, bounce off his helmet. Wallstrom can't pick up the ground ball. But a great job by Costin laying out, and Wallstrom tiptoes the sideline. Got to go quick here if you're Penn State. That's a loss of Raptors at the, at the attack to make some damage happen. Try and force turnovers. Tiernan off the post. It was nearly two in a row for Justin Tiernan. O'Connor has the ground ball, and he's got some green grass. Tainer, or trainer to Haas, skip to Malone. That shot is blocked, and now it's up and down action. Whitney, or is Jack Whitney finding Mason Whitney? Some nice stick work between the brothers. Now it's Whitney down low. Got it! Pole goal for Michigan, Jack Whitney. It's a NASCAR race out here, Matt, and Jack Whitney, the beneficiary, the pole goal. You'll love to see it. Doesn't matter who scores one. Everybody wants to see Paul score goals because they're the one always taking the flack for getting scored on. Look at this right here. Jack Whitney, bouncer far side. That's a sniper shot. Sean Donnelly and Ethan Long here. And Michigan back into the zone defense again. It's a five-man rotation and a short stick hot in the middle. Back at that high wing where he likes to work. Malone cutting in and scoring. There's no stopping TJ Malone today. Even when it's Bo Pedersen, one of the top short sticks in the country, TJ Malone still likes that matchup. His eyes widen. Yeah, his eyes just as big as gumballs, those big jawbreaker gumballs that you could buy it restaurants across the country in the early and mid 2000s. You look at it right here. Just gets a quick first step past Pedersen and the bouncer once again goes pumped up. That's a juice ground ball. We talk about juice goals from short stick d -minis. That's a juice ground ball from a rope unit that hasn't been winning possessions, but they've been in battles. And now they're seeing some success from it. Malone again. <laughs> TJ Malone is on fire. That's five. And it's 11-6, Penn State. And who got the assist? Jake Morin. Those two have just been combining for all kinds of offense all afternoon long. And from a game that was once 9-6 to six, a few seconds ago, DJ Malone extends the lead back to five. Another bouncer down low. Poked a hard hit from a couple guys there. One of them being Pedersen, the strongest guy on the team per Justin Tiernan. Brent Flex gonna let it rip and stings the corner. That's a juice goal. It's not a short stick D midi, but everybody loves Jeb Brentfleck. He's a great guy in the locker room. He knows his role as the man up specialist. Saw some time running out of the box as a midfielder earlier this year, but look at this shot placement here. Catches, steps in, releases, pins it up high, right hard to skip passes through. You almost have to isolate one of them on the defensive side, work your two-man game still, force an early slide, and then work it inside to Matt Trainer, who is that crease guy right now. Ron, a nice roll just behind Tiernan. Race to the ball. Stevenson out of bounds. Here's own power. Here's the replay again. O'Connor just throws the stick in there, tries to just lodge that ball free, knowing that it's a loose ball towards the end line. He has to make a play quickly there. Just Maybe the stick jabbed the inside. 
of the gut there for great backup there from Bame and the rest of the crew on Michigan. Bame at X, it's Lockwood trying to feed up top Tiernan, has the ball taken away. Aldred, Aldred scoops it up, now in transition. He has the green light to Malone, back to Aldridge, and he'll slow things down smartly by Aldridge. If you're Penn State here, just you're fine working, you know, you have a full 80, you're fine working it. You know you're gonna draw the zone most likely when things settle back down after transition. Here comes Donnelly though. Donnelly lets it rip. Shot and save made by Taylor. Now transition opportunity. Pedersen the other way for Michigan. Pedersen going with that left hand. He misses wide. Possession will stay. They tried a hidden ball trick there early. It was Jake Morn and that trainer. Didn't work out. Now they have to work on this zone defense again. Morn somehow got it to trainer, or excuse me, Malone and that pile of humanity. And Malone just has to escape. Trainer, backhand feed, Costin. What a feed to Trainer, Costin, and that bottom corner again for Matt Costin. Somebody's got to check on the bottom corners in both nets. Both teams have been penning them all game long. Make sure their feelings aren't hurt for getting just hammered all game. Great backhand feed there from Matt Trainer. He's not known. Bain. As Ross gets a step, Frassian goes low, swallows it up. We've got madness here at Panzer. It's the seventh failed clear for Penn State on the afternoon, but they hold a seven goal lead. Aronson, not a lot of power behind that shot. Frassian sees box, you find your clearest shot, take it. Don't want to turn anything over and allow Michigan to play NASCAR offense here. Long over to Mercer, up top Malone. Eight to shoot, Malone. Save made by Taylor, the rebound comes free. It's scooped up by Ennis. And now it's up to Pedersen. He races down and keeps it from rolling out of bounds. This is a dangerous matchup here. Pedersen has the advantage on Donnelly. Pedersen goes right around him, high bouncer. Cohen gets around Parnum. Nice finish, nice footwork, and a much needed goal for Michigan. Unbelievable footwork, Ryan Cohen right there. Rolls right off of Kevin Parnum, who's been playing physical, a little bit over aggressive once again right there. Cohen felt him on his, on his arms there, throwing a couple slashes, rolls right off, goes around the far side, look at it right there. Splits right through, bang, puts it in the bottom. Michigan has numbers. Aronson, another save made by Frassian. Michigan keeps going low. Frassian has read it beautifully. Aldridge in transition, has the green light, lets it go. Luke, or excuse me, Kyle Aldridge with a juice goal for Penn State in this fourth quarter. In transition, one of those D minis with the green light, and he makes no mistake about it. Juiced up the sidelines team and alumni alike, everybody was jumping on the sideline. And it all starts with Frassian, though. Makes a huge save on one end, finds the early outlet in Aldridge, and he just pins the corner. Played a lot of tough outings in these final 15 minutes for Penn State. This fourth quarter has been big. Tiernan goes low and gets the bouncer to go. With 107 left to go in the fourth quarter, Tiernan has his second. It's probably a little too late to get things going here, but an excellent shot there from Tiernan. The bouncer goes. It's probably the 10th or 12th one that we've seen in this contest alone. We felt would give Michigan another opportunity, especially with Penn State's face-off violations. Hudson Bond, the senior, onto the field to take what will probably be the final face-off of the game. This one is over. It's a senior day celebration for Penn State. Jack Frassian, a career high 19 saves, and Penn State gets back in the win column with a 14 to eight win. It's a massive win for Penn State. It all started 
with the play of Jack Frassi and 19 saves on the day. As you noted, 70% between the pipes. Senior graduate captain TJ Malone, seven points on the afternoon. Kyle Lehman recorded his third half of the season. A great showing for Penn State, who almost have now solidified themselves as a host for the Big Ten tournament in that first round. Not going to 100% confirm.